Hey yo, what it do, man? It's your boy, ABK Smooth Killer. Hey, listen, let me put y'all niggas on game real quick. So when it comes to life, when it comes to women, whatever it is, don't ever, ever get complacent or think that it's already good enough. You feel me? And let me tell you how. It seems simple, but it's deep. You feel me? The simplest things in life are real deep. You feel me? So a constant sign of change is good. Because it's a sign of life, that life is happening. Life is a constant change, you feel me? It means that your rotation got to change. Yes, sir. You got to rotate that shit every three months. Maybe add a new shorty, maybe two new shorties. If you, if your ass is in a relationship, then let me tell you something that you ain't never going here nowhere else. You can experience 10 girls in one girl. You feel me? Don't ever push it to the 11th mile. You gonna break the you gonna break the hole. You feel me? This ain't no pimp shit, but I'm just trying to let y'all know. You know what I'm saying? But you can experience ten shorties and one shorty. You feel me? But you gotta be on an advanced game and be able to mold shorty. You feel me? Cause there's a lot to women that y'all don't know about. You dig what I'm saying? So don't ever get complacent. Cause when you get complacent, you get established, man. Yeah, I think I'm good with game, man. You see, you walk with certain type of cockiness that it's just dumb, man. Niggas is gonna smash your whole life in your face. I see a lot of that going on, you feel me? You dig what I'm saying? So complacency is the worst thing that you wanna do. And this shit translates us to the test game, which I wanna put y'all on too. How do we really test these games? Testing these shorties is the easy shit that y'all niggas should be on. You feel me? Because that shit is constant practice, you dig what I'm saying? Even when I was a young nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, we call niggas, but we text it too. If you I'm still young, but I think I live like a thousand lives. Like, it's crazy. Like, it's so crazy. You feel me? And plus, I mess around with a lot of old women, which they give you experience that it makes you feel like, damn, you just done live so much. You dig what I'm saying? So listen, when it comes to texting these shorties, some of y'all got to be able to identify what you already have as your strength. You feel me? Once you identify that is when you know, oh, this is what, where, where, where I think I'm strong at. Let me challenge that. And that's how you keep progressing and moving yourself up. Not just trying to add some shit that somebody else doing and think, man, that's cool. That might not work for you. That, listen, adding somebody else like type shit to do, like you might throw off your swag. You dig what I'm saying? Some niggas got fat boy swag. I'm not saying like stay fat or your body. You got to be healthy and all that shit. But some niggas got fat boy swag. And they be taking some niggas hoes. It's a fact. You feel me? So when it comes to the body, I say, hey man, get your ass in the gym and do all that. And it's going to be better. But it's just that, uh, you know, it can get a little messy when, you, when you're touching the top. You feel me? If you really know what's going on in the game and all that. You dig what I'm saying? Swag is different because you can look pretty, you can look handsome. You know what I'm saying? You can be muscular, but the energy that you carry, you be throwing off shorties. They know this. They be talking about this all day. I don't care how many videos you watch on games, son. If they ain't teaching you no basics, my man, yo, the energy that you carry, bro, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't care like, oh, I'm on my purpose. I'm mid Oh, I'm... Bro, the energy that you carry that is what be throwing these women off. Or sometimes they know, oh, he's carrying this amount of energy. He's good enough for, you know, he piping me down. And he gives me a little bit of challenge. But when the big dog come in, it's like a big gorilla. Have y'all niggas seen a gorilla smashes? Come on, son. <laughs> come on, man. It's just the translation what really goes on in the zoo. You feel me? It's just that it's so crazy how... Today, young niggas, like real young niggas, is coming up on game and is messing with shorties and shit like that. They so closed off from the real game and being able to experience the real shit and be able to push beyond boundaries because of the censorship, because of the dumbing down. And it's not just the dumbing down in school. The niggas, y'all get dumbed down like with the food, with the GMO shit that they already give y'all in schools, you feel me, and out of schools. If you're always in a boring school, if you're always in a public school and receiving all those lunch, if you're always eating food from all these stores, like, son, that fucks with your masculinity. And that fucks with how you understand shit. Listen, parasites are a real thing. They're also beings, intelligent beings. 
there's a parasite that can get inside of a grasshopper and make the grasshopper commit suicide, kill itself, literally. The motherfucker get in that motherfucker and make the motherfucker hop through the water. And the motherfucker hop through the water and kills itself and then the parasite swims out that bitch and goes and lives his fucking life. That's how parasites work and there's parasites and everything. We eat these and this shit goes in us and it programs us to do some other shit and we program it to do some other shit. You feel me? But that's all it is. So y'all gotta watch out really how y'all inf how they influence your masculinity because that's gonna influence how y'all see women, how y'all exp experience certain realities and shit. Because the old niggas from today, because listen, when I was young nigga, I was already giving advice to big niggas because I was coming from a different background with old niggas, old niggas from old school that experienced different shit. So I was privileged for that. And plus my experience and, and where I grew up, you feel me? I was able to experience shit at an early age. You know what I'm saying? But most of these niggas, they don't even understand that. They don't know. That's why when I hear they, they talking about game to me, it's like, what the fuck? These niggas talking about the fuck? Because these women want to experience that shit that they don't even tell y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? So you can, you can appear, listen, this is the best thing to have. Bitches know that you're smooth, right? But in the back door, they say, oh, this nigga is savage. He would dig your shit. I swear to God, this nigga is savage. Nah, man, he acting like this. Yeah, he might be. That's why he acting like... You see what I'm saying? But there's a difference. It's not you staying like the, with the bum bum shit and trying to act up too, you feel me? It's the energy that you really carry. I don't care if you six feet tall. I don't care if you seven feet tall. I don't care if you five. Nigga, it's the energy that you carry. You're going to have shorties whistling at you. I had this shit happen to me all the time. Facts. You feel me? On plus on similar retention shit, on plus on food that you put in your body, that's fuel. And when it comes to this diet shit, with the shit that y'all niggas is putting in your body, I'm gonna tell y'all niggas about the texting shit too. Y'all niggas stay tuned to this motherfucker. When it comes to this diet shit to putting food in your body, there's no right or wrong shit. There's wrong food and shit that's gonna fuck you up, yes. But you gotta understand that how do you want your vehicle to operate? You feel me? How do you want it to perform? And then you feed it accordingly to how you want it to perform, to your performance. You know what I'm saying? If you want to perform like, like an Olympic athlete, then you got to eat a certain way. And you got to train a certain way, right? That's just what it is, bro, bro. If you want to be big, then you got to eat a certain way. got to eat more than usual. You know what I'm saying? And not necessarily train more because this is misconception to getting big and training it. A lot and overtraining and shit like that. Feel me? We could talk about that in another video. You dig what I'm saying? But all of this shit goes into it. You know, it's not, I'm a vegan, so I'm getting into Man, shut the fuck. That shit don't work, man. Our ancestors, they hunted meat. You understand me? People go on meat diets and they're good. You know what I'm saying? So, ain't nothing wrong about meat. You feel me? Eat grass finished meat. Not grass fed, grass finished. You know what I'm saying? Because they can just give the cow uh, grass for one day and say, this motherfucker's grass fed, you know? And feed, feed GMO shit and, you know what I'm saying? So, grass finished. But, nigga, it's good. It's not about being vegan and weak shit. You know? It's how you want your vehicle to perform. You feel me? So, when I say identify your strengths and then enhance on that shit, somewhere I just don't even y'all ignore who y'all is you can't just ignore who you are and put shit on top of it you know what i'm saying can't put perfume and trash type shit you feel me some of y'all gotta go back and hug the little kid that you was because y'all went through some shit that y'all ain't even had that dress yet and it's fucking up with the energy because you're just trying to add shit you feel me i want to give this shit to y'all so i can move Towards the week and identify it really because we're trying to move, but there's a listen, you can move much faster if you take the 200 pounds that you're carrying right behind you. You feel me? And a lot of us is, and we're still young, but a lot of us are already carrying shit. You know what I'm saying? Congratulate yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna release more, more dopamine in your body to keep you to help you keep going. You know what I'm saying? Dopamine don't release in your body from achieving something. It dop Dopamine releases in your body from
from the process of doing something. That's why they're not telling you. You understand me? <laughs> you know? So it's, that's why whenever you start creating this momentum and momentum and momentum, it's like you're on a high. You can't stop. Why are you going so hard, man? You know what I'm saying? Take a break, man. Why you work every day, man? Stay away from those people. Feel me? Why, why you working every day, man? Slow down a little bit, man. You already did enough, man. Feel me? So I just want to let y'all know this, man. Don't never stay complacent. You know what I'm saying? Seek for, for, for signs of constant change in your life. If there's none, then you know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Every time. Every time. And make sure you're paying attention. Make sure you're becoming a true warrior. Not a bum bum. You know? A bowl of information. F with no use. You know? No matter what you're going through. No matter what you're going through right now. Good days are coming. You feel me? But you gotta go through the storm first. You know what I'm saying? You got to. You got to understand what it feels like to... To, 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 to go to all the down, to all the downfalls, you got to, to be able to enjoy what feels good, you know? It's a cycle of life, you feel me? So I just want to leave you out with that, man. I know there's a lot of hard times and there's a lot of so perceived bad things going on, but make sure you're creating your own reality, you know? You can eliminate certain perception out of your reality. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to talk about what everybody's talking about, you know? This earth is huge, you know? There's some beings that are not even aware that of what's going on, you know? So, you know what I'm saying? You want to make sure that you're influencing your reality the way you want as much as possible, not just following somebody else's narrative. You feel me? So I want to leave you with that, man. I think that's powerful. You dig what I'm saying? Whatever y'all is, man, make sure you finish this week strong. You do what I'm saying? Good things are coming, man. And it might get real bad first. But remember, good things are coming. You feel me? It's your boy, BK Smooth Killer, man. Y'all already know what time it is. Bang.